I hope everybody safe and sound, keeping healthy and studying as well. Dear students, in previous class, we have discussed about the fifth chapter that is HCM and LCM. I hope you everybody have cleared the chapter of HCM and LCM. Okay, here let us move on to the next chapter, sixth chapter that is fractions. Here, these fractions you have already discussed in your previous class also. Okay, you have discussed types of fractions. Those are like fraction, unlike fraction, proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction. Okay, these are the types of fractions you have discussed in your previous class. Here also you will discuss the same thing, but we will use an unlike fractions. Okay. We will use an unlike fraction. Here what the unlike fractions defines? Here the unlike fractions defines that the denominator or difference. Okay, the denominator or different. Okay, so here in the unlike comparing unlike fraction, first unlike fraction with the same numerator. See here, you know that already the fraction means the number which is having a numerator and denominator. For example, that is 2 by A. If I ask you to write, write the numerator. Okay, which for which number you will write numerator? Here 2 is a numerator. Okay, 2 is a numerator and here 8 is a denominator. Okay, if the numerator and denominator are arise for this, we call as a fraction. Okay. If the both numerator and denominator is arise, so for that kind of number, we call as a fractions. Okay. So first here, unlike fractions. Okay. Unlike fraction with the same numerators. Here, see the numerators are same, the denominators are different. Now, how will you compare? You want to compare that by seeing and denominators. Comparison means you want to use an greater than sign and a lesser than sign. You know that already the greater than sign and the lesser than sign. Okay, we have discussed this in our first chapter itself. So, this indicates a lesser than this indicates a greater than sign. Okay. Now you want to, by using these signs, you want to compare the given unlike fraction. Okay. You want to compare the given unlike fraction. So here, in this unlike fraction, 4 by 7 and 4 by 8 are given. So here, in this, which is the greater fraction? You want to see a denominator. You should not see a numerator okay the numerators are same yet the denominators are different so if the denominators are different you want to compare the denominators then you want to insert a symbol okay now here 7 and here is a 8 now in this two which is a greater and which is a smaller here 7 is smaller than 8 is it here 7 is lesser than 8 so you want to use this symbol. Okay, in this way you want to compare the given unlike fraction. Okay. Next, I have taken here second example 5 by 8 and 5 by 12. Here also same way what we have followed here. Here the again the numerators are same. Is it? The numerators are same and the denominators are different. Now what we have to do? We have to follow the same thing what we have followed for the first example. Okay. So here 8 and 12 we have to compare. So here if we compare 8 and 12, which number is greater than and which number is smaller than? Here the greater number is 12 and lesser number is 8. So 8 is lesser than. Okay. 8 is lesser than 12. If the 12 arises here and the 8 goes here, what will you do? You want to write that 5 by 12 is greater than 5 by 8. Okay. In this way you want to compare. You want to insert here greater than symbol. Okay. 
in this way you want to compare the given unlike fraction so here next one more example i have taken that is for the unlike fraction you want to arrange an ascending order and descending order here this ascending order and de descending order we have already discussed is it you know that what is the definition of ascending order s the ascending order defines that we have to arrange the number from the smaller to a bigger number okay we have to arrange the number from smaller number to bigger number this tells an ascending order okay you know that if the in number arises has a 4 5 6 you you can uh, come you can write the ascending order and descending order well if the fractions arise how will you write same way what you are following for a whole number here also you want to follow for a fraction same thing here all the denominators are same and uh, all numerators are different so if the numerators are different you want to see take an the number which is lesser okay to write an ascending order first you want to take a lesser number so first here is a 1 okay see 3 2 7 5 1 in this all the numbers one is a lesser is it so first in a ascending order you want to write 1 by 8 1 by 8 next after this which is the second number which is the second smallest number second smallest is 2 by 8 2 8 8 next after 2 which is the smallest number here 3 3 by 8 dear students everyone should copy this in your rough notebook okay then itself you will be perfect and you can understand the problems what i am solving here okay next after this 3 now which number is remain here 7 and 5 is remain so in this 7 and 5 which is the smaller 5 is a smaller so 5 by 8 next after 5 by 8 which is the last number is remain here that is 7 by 8 C one two three five seven. Okay, in this way we have arrived. So from the smaller number to larger number we have arrived, arranged. So for this we call as an ascending order. Here A O means ascending order. Now descending order means what? Descending order means the reverse process of a ascending order. We have to arrange a given number by Larger number to and smaller number, okay. You want to arrange a larger number to and smaller number. What we have written in the ascending order, you write in a reverse order. First, you write down seven by eight, okay. Seven by eight, then five by eight, three by eight, two by eight, then one by eight. In this way, you want to write descending order, okay. This you have to write you itself. Okay, I hope everyone are copying in your rough notebook. Okay, so this is all about an unlike fraction with the same numerator. Okay, unlike fraction with the same numerator. Here for the compare for for the arranging ascending order and descending order, we have taken same denominators but different numerators. Okay, so you want to see if the problem arises like this you want to compare in this way okay but this is a unlike fraction itself okay it is an improper fraction next dear students here i have taken this two problems from your textbook itself okay that is exercise 6.1 okay in exercise 6.1 a may compare the following the have given is it So in the compare the following first question is three by seven and next uh, this is four by seven okay this we will discuss in a next okay here unlike fraction with the different denominators here we will see next here one more example I have taken five by eight and five by twelve okay here the same numerators okay the same numerators are arise so I have taken this example here. 
Next, we will, I have taken this example that is from the B main. Arrange the following in ascending order and descending order. Okay, arrange the following in a descending order and ascending order. This is the first question. Okay, this is from the first question I have taken. Then we will see the next topic. Okay, I hope everyone all cleared this. Okay. Next, we will move on to the next topic that is unlike fraction with the different numerators. Okay, here we have taken same numerator. Here the different numerators we will take. So for example, I have taken 3 by 7 and 4 by 7. See here, the numerators are different but the denominators are same. Now how to compare? Same thing what we have followed here. But we have compared here the numerator. We want to compare here denominator. That is a change. Okay. It is not a very big change. It is a very small change. Okay. Here we will compare the new numerators. Okay. Here we are comparing the denominators. Okay. Here we are comparing denominators. And we will compare here the numerators. Okay. Because here in the denominators the numbers are different in the numerators the numbers are same so we will compare here the denominators here the denominators are same the numerators are different so we will compare the new numerator okay now if we compare 3 and 4 3 is smaller than 4 okay 3 is lesser than 4 okay in this way you want to compare this also Okay, if the numerators are different and the denominators are same, you want to compare in this way. You want to compare the numerators and then you want to decide that which is the greater than, which is the smaller than. Okay. Next, here one more example. 7 by 12 and 6 by 13. Okay, if the problem arises like this, how will you... Right. Here totally the numerators are also different and the denominators are also different. How will you write? First, you want to make a cross multiplication. Okay, you want to make a cross multiply. See, 7 by 12 into 6 by 13. You want to make cross multiply. Okay, 7 into 13. 7 into 13, then 12 into 6. Now, 7 into 13, how much will you get? You will get 91. 13 7 is how much? 13 7 is 91. Is it? Then 12 6 is 72. 12 6 is 72. In this way, you want to compare. Now, we got here 91 and 72 by cross multiplying. Is it? By cross multiplying this number, we got for 7 by 12, 91. Is it? For 7 by 12, we got 91. See, I will write here. 91. For 7 by 12, 91 we got. Then, for 6 by 13, how much we got? 72. We got 72. Now, we want to compare. 91 is greater then 72. 91 is greater than 72. So, 7 by 12 is greater than 6 by 13. Okay. So, you want to insert the symbol here. Okay. If you get confused means you follow this way. What I have explained now, you follow this way, this way then you can feel easy to comparison of our fractions. Okay. Here, the 7 by 12 is greater than 6 by 13. Dear students, here, unlike fraction with the different numerator, in ascending or descending order, they have given one problem that is 5 by 12, comma 1 by 6, comma 3 by 4. Now, we have to arrange these numbers in a ascending order and descending order. Here, to arrange an ascending order and descending order, here, both the numerator and denominators are different. Now, we are in confusion. Is it? Now, for which number we want to compare? This is our question. Now, here is a solution that first you want to take an LCM of a, of a denominator. 
Okay, first you want to take an LCM of a denominator that is 12, 6, 4. Of these three numbers, you want to take an LCM. That is for the first number 12, I have taken that is 2, 6 is 12. Okay, 2, 3 is 6, 3 1 is 3, then 6. Okay, 2, 3 is 6, 3 1 is 3, then 2, 2 is 4, 2 1 is 2. Now, here after getting an this LCM, we want to see that which are the numbers are same in all these three numbers which is the same factor that is 2 2 2 okay here this we got 1 is a 2 1 number is common that is 2 is common so I have written first 2 okay next this completes then here we you can see a next number 2 here is a 2 then here is a 3 here is a 2 now we then got common number. So, we want to write all these three numbers. 2 into 3 into 2. Okay. Next, 3. Okay, we got here only 3. So, into 3. So, 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 3. Now, we want to multiply all these numbers. If we multiply all these numbers, we will get an, the product that is 72. Okay. So, for this product, we want to find an which is the number greater and which number is smaller. Here they have given in your textbook that is in 153 page number. Okay. Arrange the following unlike fraction in ascending order and descending order. Okay. What I explaining here that itself they have given in your textbook. First in a step 1 we want to take an LCM of a given number. Okay. Then we want to find an equivalent of all the given fraction with denominator okay the denominator we want to find an equal for all the numbers how to find the denominator is equal that is by using this LCM we want to find okay so first here you want to take 5 by 12 okay write down 5 by 12 okay then in a 5 by 12 we got LCM 72 is it so, you write that LCM 72 in a denominator part here. Okay. Dear students, what I am explaining here, concentrate well. Okay. Then, you will understand the problem well. So, 12 how much are 72? 12 how much are 72? That is 12, 6 are 72, right? Yes. 12, 6 are 72. Now, here what the number you have taken at the denominator the same number should be taken for the numerator also. Okay. Here you have taken 6, right? Then you want to take here also 6. Now 5, home, five into 6. 5, 6 is how much? 5, 6 is 30. Okay. Now for 5 by 12, we got an 30 by 72. That is here in the denominator, the, we got the LCM. Okay. Because for all the numbers the denominators are different so we want to find the same denominators okay so after completing this 5 by 12 we want to move on to the next number 1 by 6 okay so next i have taken 1 by 6 okay then you write down here 72 in the product side you want to write 72 okay then you will not get confused or else you will get confused so i have shown you in this way so 6 how much are 72 6 how much are 72? Yes. 6 12s are 6 12s are 72. So here also what the number we have taken, the same number should be taken, uh, should be right for numerator also. Okay. 12. 1 into 12. That is, you will get 12 by 72. Next, 1 by 6 completes. Now, now here which number is remain? 3 by 4 is remain, is it? So, you write down 3 by 4. For the 3 by 4 also, what we have followed this step, the same step should be followed for this also. Okay. Now, 4 commas are 72. That is 4 18 are. 4 18 are 72 you will get. Then 3. Here, what number we have to write? We have to write the same number 18. Okay, here 3 into 18, what the product you will get? You will get the product has 54.
okay you will get the product as a 54 now we have got that 30 by 72 12 by 72 54 by 72 now in this all first we write all those three numbers here okay 30 by 72 30 by 72 comma then 12 by 72 then 54 by 72 now we have to compare the which is, which number is greater than now we got all the denominators are same is it we got all the denominators are same now the numerators are different so we want to see the which number is lesser than and which number is greater than first we will arrange in a ascending order so to arrange in a ascending order okay to arrange in a ascending order first which number should be right you want to write a lesser number or greater number you want to write a lesser number because the ascending order defines that we want to arrange a given number in a smaller to a bigger number okay so now the smaller number is a 12 okay 30 is bigger than and 54 is also bigger so 12 by 72 so for 12 by 72 by which number we got this product by 1 by 6 we got is it see what they are going to give in a question that number should be written in a while you are writing ascending order and descending order you should not write these numbers okay if you write these numbers the problem will get wrong so you want to use the numbers what we have given in a question so for 12 by 72 we have used 1 by 6 is it 1 by 6 okay then which is the second smaller number 30 is it 30 by 72 so 30 by 72 by which number we got that is by 5 by 12 so you want to write 5 by 12 next smaller number is 54 okay 54 we got by the number 3 by 4 3 by 4 okay in this way you want to arrange now descending order how will you write same way reverse process 7 3 by 4 okay 5 by 12 then 1 by 6 okay dear students here one more example we will discuss about an unlike fraction that is for comparison of fraction how to compare greater than symbol and lesser than symbol to use that symbol if the problem arises like this how to solve see first here they have given a mixed fraction okay mixed fraction then here is a unlike fraction so if the mixed fraction arise how to solve this problem first you want to multiply the denominator with the whole number okay then 2 to the 4 4 plus 1 it will become 5 so first you have to write 5 by 2 then here they have given 3 by 8 so you have to write same as it is 3 by 8 so here we got 5 by 2 then 3 by 8 what they have given same as it is we have to write down so 5 by 2 so now we got different denominators here 2 is a different denominator and here 8 is a different denominator if we got different denominator now it is not able to compare okay because both numerator and denominators are different so if both the difference they have given we want to take an lcm of a denominator so for if we want to take lcm of a denominator first they have given 2 is it so i have taken 2 2 ones are 2 then here 8 they have given so for 8 i have taken the 2 fours are 8 then 2 twos are 4 2 ones are 2 then after this we want to find which is the common number so now here 2 is a common number so i have written 2 first then what the numbers are remained so that numbers are i have written 2 into 2 into then here we got the number 8 then by using this 8 we want to see and the denominator should be made equivalent so i have made that 3 by 8 and we got here 20 by 8 okay now we got denominator equivalent 20 by 8 and 3 by 8 so now which number is greater 20 is greater so for 22 whole 1 by 2 greater than 3 by 8 we have discussed similar problem in a next in a previous uh, example also is it okay so this is all about an today's 
class if you are not understanding means you have to repeat the video and everyone should send me a photocopy of your worksheet okay thank you